The Turkish aerospace sector achieved another major milestone with the successful launch of the second prototype of the Herd, the country's first domestically developed advanced jet trainer and light fighter aircraft. This launch not only marks a technical triumph for Turkish aerospace industries, but also a significant strategic milestone in Turkey's long-term vision. The Herjet program, initiated several years ago to replace its aging fleet of trainers and establish a new platform for multi-role missions, continues to gain momentum. The launch and maiden flight of the first prototype were celebrated as a breakthrough, but the arrival of the second prototype is considered even more significant. The new aircraft features numerous enhancements and expanded capabilities. The second prototype integrates an updated mission computer and improved sensor systems. These enhancements aim to provide a more accurate representation of the avionics environment that pilots will experience in frontline fighter aircraft. This allows the Herjet to serve not only as a trainer but also as a stepping stone to more complex jets, such as the KAAN. Engineers have implemented enhancements to the digital fly-by-wire system, improving control, precision, and stability. This updated system offers smoother control, response, and safer behavior during extreme maneuvers, which is essential for training novice pilots. Based on initial flight test data, TAI modified several airframe components to reduce weight and increase durability. These adjustments help improve the aircraft's agility while ensuring better fatigue resistance. Throughout its operational life, one of the Herjit's key advantages is its ability to perform light combat missions. The second prototype includes enhanced integration capabilities for air to ground and air to air mun. These capabilities will be intensively tested in the coming months, paving the way for future armed variants. Pilot feedback from the first prototype has been integrated into the new design, resulting in a more intuitive cockpit layout, a new display system, a sleeker interface design, and improved situational awareness tools contribute to improved training efficiency. From the outset, the Herjet has been a bold undertaking. It was designed as a next-generation platform capable of fulfilling a wide range of missions, including pilot training for advanced jets, close air support roles, and even light combat operations. Development began with detailed aerodynamic studies, powertrain selection, and avionics architecture design. Once the initial configuration was finalized, the first prototype quickly entered the assembly and testing phase. Its successful launch attracted international attention, particularly from countries seeking an affordable yet capable training aircraft. The second prototype marks a deepening of Turkey's commitment to the program. TAI engineers and technicians have integrated feedback from the flight tests, including improvements in performance, reliability, and system integration. These improvements are crucial to ensuring the aircraft meets the stringent requirements of domestic and export customers. While visually similar to the first aircraft, the second Herjet prototype includes several technical improvements and differences. While Thai has not disclosed every modification in detail to the public, aerospace analysts and defense observers have identified several key improvements that distinguish the new aircraft from its predecessors. The launch of the second prototype is more than just having another aircraft in the hangar. It allows TAI to significantly accelerate the testing phase. With two flight ready prototypes, engineers can run parallel test campaigns, doubling the speed of data collection and reducing certification timelines. One aircraft can focus on flight performance while the other concentrates on avionics, structural testing, or weapons integration. This division of labor is standard in modern fighter and trainer development programs and is essential for meeting ambitious delivery. Targets. Industry officials have indicated that serial production is expected to begin in the next few years. Assuming the testing phase proceeds smoothly, initial production units will likely be allocated to the Turkish Air Force, which plans to modernize its training fleet and reduce reliance on older foreign platforms. But the Herjit program is also strategically important for expanding Turkey's defense exports. Many countries are actively seeking cost-effective training solutions as they transition to fifth-generation fighter aircraft. Advanced trainers like the Herjet and competitors like the Korean T-50 or the Italian M346 play a crucial role in developing pilots who can safely operate advanced aircraft. Thai aims to position the Herjet as a competitive option in this market. The inclusion of modular design elements, lower operational costs, and multi-mission capabilities make the aircraft particularly attractive to countries with limited budgets or smaller air forces. Defense analysts note that the launch of the second prototype will boost confidence among potential buyers. Demonstrating a viable and sustainable program is crucial for building credibility, especially when competing with established manufacturers. Several countries have already expressed interest, and a successful launch of the second prototype could expedite formal negotiations. Beyond its defense utility, the Herjet project has become a catalyst for domestic technological growth. 
The program has created thousands of highly skilled jobs and fostered collaboration between universities, research institutions, and private companies across Turkey. Young engineers and scientists have the opportunity to develop cutting edge aerospace technologies, including composite materials, advanced avionics, propulsion systems, and simulation environments. This experience contributes to the broader national innovation ecosystem, which will benefit future projects such as the KAA and fighter jet, unmanned aerial vehicles, and space initiatives. The successful development of the second prototype reinforces the notion that Turkey is on track to become a significant player in the global aerospace sector. As experience grows, the Turkish domestic industry is increasingly capable of executing even more complex projects. With the official launch of the second prototype, the coming months will be filled with intensive testing and evaluation. Engineers will conduct numerous flight tests under varying conditions to verify the aircraft's performance, avionics reliability, and structural robustness. Concurrently, work will continue on specific variants of the Hurt, including a light fighter model and a potential naval configuration. The export-oriented marketing campaign is likely to expand, especially as progress is made and confidence in the platform grows. The first operational Herjet unit could be operational by the end of this decade if the program continues at its current pace. By then, the Herjet could serve not only as a training aircraft but also as a versatile, multi role aircraft integrated into Turkey's broader air defense strategy. The launch of this second Herjet prototype is more than just a routine development step. It is a tangible manifestation of Turkey's accelerating progress in aerospace engineering and defense innovation. Each milestone brings the country closer to achieving strategic independence in military aviation and positions its industry. As a serious competitor on the global stage, .S flight testing expands and additional prototype launches continue. The Herjet program is poised to become one of the most influential aerospace initiatives in Turkey's modern history. Whether serving as a trainer for next-generation fighter pilots or carrying out missions in support of national defense, Herjet is rapidly evolving into a symbol of technological ambition and national capabilities. And national capabilities.